iParents. For this video, we call this section of our day the bridge. The bridge is a time where I will read a story in English or a song or do a little flannel felt board story and we discuss similarities and differences but um, a lot more similarities between both languages English and Spanish. So this is a period that also serves for our dominant Spanish-speaking students as an ESL class. Niños, boys and girls, we're going to read a story and this is all in English so I picked out a book that's one of my favorites. It's by Jane Belk Moncure, and she did a lot of books with letters, and they're very fun, and we're going to do this in English. Padres, esta sección de clase es una clase que le decimos el puente al inglés. Nosotros utilizamos libros, cuentos, poemas, canciones, a veces usando mis figuritas y telitas de cuentos. Es el tiempo para nuestros estudiantes que son dominantes en español como su clase de inglés como segundo idioma. También lo utilizamos, perdón, para compartir y para comparar y para diferenciar los dos idiomas, cómo se parecen, cómo son diferentes. Pero en más del tiempo que lo usamos es a ver cómo se parecen los dos idiomas. Esta clase se va, se va a dar en inglés. So this class will be given in English. It's called My A Book by Jane Belk Moncure. Y si sí quería añadir que estos libros que he escogido para esta parte de clase son unos favoritos míos. Ella ha escrito muchos libros y cuentos que son bien divertidos para los niños en inglés. So if we look here, looking at our pictures, we open up our book, we're going to find the alphabet in English. We're going to see all the way through. And on a different video, we'll go ahead and practice singing our song in English. My A Book by Jane Belk Moncure, illustrated by Colin, Colin King. Here we go. I'm going to turn the book just a bit. I hope you can see it. Here we are. Let's use our pointing finger to look at the letters and words. Little A had a box. I will find things that begin with my A sound, he said. I will put them into my sound box. Little A put on his hat and went for a walk. He found apples, apples, apples. Did he put the apples into his box? He did. Little A found an alligator. Alligator. Did he put the alligator into his box with the apples? He did. Alligator apples. Hmm. Little A found ants, ants, ants. Did he put the ants into his box with the apples and the alligator? Ants. He did. Then, little A found toy arrows. Guess where he put the arrows? That's right, in the box. Next, little A found an 
anchor, anchor. Guess where he put the anchor? Yep, right in that box. Now, the box was so full. The ants, the arrows, and the anchor fell out. Oh no, what do we do when we drop something? Yeah, we kind of look around and say, oh no. Sometimes people help us. Very good. I don't see anyone yet. The apples and the alligator fell out too. Oh no. Now, who will help me fill my box? Asked little A. Who do you think will help him? His mom, maybe. Dad, right? Maybe a friend? Just then, an astronaut came by. I will help you, said the astronaut. I will fill your box. Guess what happened next? What do you think happened? They ate the apples for lunch? Wow, look at that. The astronaut took little A for a ride. Would you like to try that? Go for a ride with an astronaut? Up, up, and away they went. Let's name some of the things. And boys and girls, as I name them, I'm going to point at the words and follow along. Ants, alligator, arrows, astronaut, apples, anchor. Very good. Can you read these words with little a? Antlers, animals, acrobat. Little A has another sound in some words. His name says, ah, uh, a, ah. Uh. Can you read these words? Listen for little A's names. So sometimes it says, a, and sometimes it says, ah. Uh. In animals, it says, ah. Uh. In acorn, it says his name. It says, a. Apron. Ape. Angel. Very good, boys and girls. Now I'm going to take out my pink owl. Okay, el búho en español. Y voy a buscar algunas palabras, algunos objetos y cosas que compartimos en inglés y en español. So we're going to share. So we're going to have both owls out. And we're going to find some words. Vamos a encontrar unas palabras. Voy a si atrás un poquito. And we're going to look at... Mm, when we say apples, we say manzana manzana apples no they don't share sounds let's try something else astronaut como se dice muy bien astronauta astronauta y en inglés se dice astronaut los dos comparten La palabra y los sonidos. They share the word and they share the sounds. And they share the A 
I think we might be able to find another one. Here's one more. Animals. Animals. Does anyone know how to say animal in Spanish? Hey, good. Animal. En español se dice animal. En inglés se dice animal. Last one. Angel. Angel. Very good, boys and girls. So I want you to enjoy your English stories, and I want you to think about how some of our words are shared in English and in Spanish, too. Good job.